Using that in the response of it, but there's no go button press here for FPX. Keen to just wait this one out on the opposite side of the map. Autumn went poking around, and he managed to catch Tomasi. Good opening here. I mean, it does open up the B side entirely. A repeat from Life. He's got the heal online, but Martin returns with the kill. Nice trade. Lysor didn't buy the orb in this round, so having to use the wall in order to escape there, that means there's going to be no wall placed down over towards B. So Kamen Core are going to have opportunities to try to deny this plant, though they are players down. That's true with the paranoia here, FPX. One of the sidelines blocked off. Now look at this, the Omen Smokes are lovely for them to take more aggressive positions on site. Kamakor all up towards Kitchen, doubled up here, but just picking and choosing it, battles at the right time. They have no idea! They have no idea where they're being shot from. Through the greats here, one player left standing, it's Lisa. We'll see what they can do. Snake bites, at least one connection, but the wall's up in their face. They've got to really just get a move on as well, wrapping all the way around here. Shin sticking to the fuse here for the pistol round, it's all Carmen Core. Right moment, in the right. Flash over the top, it's going to be going straight through the gap at the top there. Good connection, Martin willing to take the fight, the transfer damage done, but no kill. In fact, that's all life here, just leading the charge for the rest of his team. Is there only going to be clean up onto Shin eventually? But Very time, weak. 12 seconds, and yeah, life is weak. Pops the ult off. Might be able to get something going with this one. At least he's one more kill for it. Nobody watching. Back there up, it good is. Auto. Back up. Need to get the plan down. Four seconds. Taps. Taps. Force it into the one you want. It's the only win condition for life. And time is born and played. All the util combined together. Unfortunate for life there. He will fall just through the smoke as it was propped up. Bloomed and blossomed. But FPX Keen to still play this one. Maybe a bit more aggressively as well. The position of some of these players. Berlin taking a peek. Now towards Kitchen, expected though. Now you see it. Thrash exchanged. Dropping down onto either side. Detainment potentially there. Looks like it. Yeah, Berlin. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And now positioning, being swarmed and approached from every possible angle. I saw. Realizing now that really has to give it up. It wasn't that mid position. He was the insurance policy, but now has to save that rifle. Be able to receive this. Now, Dizzy wasn't collected over towards B to clear it, so they don't even have that util to clear this angle. Up top, though, yeah, cross their pace, man. You've got to take a gamble if you play in that spot. It could come from two different directions, and so gambling incorrectly there. Life is the one to capitalize. Magnum, though, still with ultimate. How does FPX deal with that? Put it down with a wingman, clears out a bit off the side. Now the plan online, but here's the lockdown. Oh, hey, I'm denied from even going for that. They can't go for the plan. Time, time. They have to fight this one. FBX has to make a call to do so, but now detainment. It's going to be happening anytime soon. This is a round basically done and dusted. Online there with a the res. Magnum back into the fight. Three versus three, but with time like this, I mean, there's just no chance. You have to kill everybody. It's not there for FBX. A lot of flashes that he has to dodge here, though. Leah, Dizzy, both broken. Narrate with a pick. I mean, Narrate just back towards Rafters there. Dizzy. Also returning as well, getting the acknowledgement that his play is there. Now there's 45 seconds left, could pivot into a different direction if you want to, but FPX looking a bit indecisive, just a pause in the play. Now the paranoia sent flying here, but again, no connections. Martin towards the back, trying to go wide here with a dizzy. No rate is on one, man! He's on one! Almost there for the ace, but four kills eventually shut down in the end, but seven to zero. One of our most one-sided matchups you could possibly see at the tournament oh. on paper. But what does the parity look like? Everybody was saying, you know, anyone can win Madrid. There are chances for even these teams to be able to make upsets. Even Magnum himself, you know, coming into this. They're not going to make a mistake with prior teams, you know. Maybe they turn up to these international tournaments, they expect to have a, a freebie, an opening match that just is so one-sided. But I'm, of course, still showing him respect. Absolutely. Yeah, Magnum said, quote, if I had to rate FPX in terms of macro, I think they have a lot of gaps. And then he said, but it's Valorant, anyone can lose. Martin, under pressure though. Yeah, Dizzy in his face though, it does fade away. He's just absolutely caught a timing still. Autumn will shut down a counterpart. Damage done, but no kill collected. Smokes at some point surely going to be fading. How are they going to get this spike down? They really don't have any options or tools, but there we go. That's a huge one. Yep, a gap available with that up drop down. Autumn picks it up, acquiring that upgrade. Now we can really just see if he can hunt for any more sort of kills. Now this is a player advantage for FPX. Question is now, how do Carmen Court approach it? Dizzy, down to the back along with the molly. Players all over the place. Thrash to lead the charge. Entertainment there. Shin, round to the side, but doesn't expect Berlin. And there it is. Okay, a round on the board for FPX. A four position here, playing inside the pit. This is really going to test Carmen Court once more, especially with Autumn ripping off heads. 
Here. Towards the back of the side, just really impossible to clear this through. And here it is, momentum on the side of FPX. This is basically a done deal into the round. Look at it, second one on the board. Now maybe you can start to keep this going. Slow up, don't give us a ten of that one. Molly's being used, snake bite here close. And there it is, actually, that bouncing into that wrong angle. Martin can't evacuate. Can he stand this ground? Can he hold it down? The answer is no. And that's probably going to incentivize Nare to try to make a play here instead of just playing the player down retake. We get to see now, do they trust the system? Do they try to go for the hero play? Man down here, snake by four, it's life. Tucking behind the box, out into the open though, has to just spank on the rest of his teammates. Lovely movement from Ayang, Magnum. Nasty stuff, oh my! Almost making a go of it. A leg, oh, it's betrayal. And there it is, sets up Autumn for an easy one. No possibility of that being rezzed. It's now being offloaded. Dash towards of Autumn. Top of the box. Just spotting. Head of Shin. Unable to rip that one off. But Berlin's caught into the mid flank. And now the ult online. Magnum has that retake ultimate that caused so much pressure for FBX previously. Could be opting to use this as a really forward backside position. FBX are trying to fight this one. Then they realize at least now that the lockdown is down, but do they have any util to try and fight this one and clear it? Out Whoa. and through, they don't need util, man. They got guns and weaponry still locked down. Didn't get broken. 1v2. He's out of dodge here from FBX. The positioning is going to be known and noted. The right. how do you hit that? Into the 1v1. Wingman. Exactly the partner in crime that you'd want at least taps out of position, trying to force life out into the open, but it's a guessing game for the rate entirely. Doesn't know where he is in life, playing time immaculately. It's seven to five. They've actually oh, abandoned so it chaos. very early though, Brent. I mean, it is easy. Surely you collect the kills. Berlin gets three. That's wild. Get the hell out of here. Dealing with the util single handedly. I mean, a man was basically alone. And now, how do you clear this one out? Lee Saw to the side, lovely peek, off with the dizzy. That is a slam dunk finish. <laughs> Guess what, the Avengers are bloody here. I mean, listen, the amount of players they've got trying to play that four position belt, not really accounted for, it's a high-low setup. They are really mopping up the rest of these players, an attempt by life, repositions, but just down to the open. It's all being watched for. <laughs> Cheeky idea, I do respect it. I love the idea. Be enough to try and take it against them. That's a cheeky play. Cool idea. All to boost themselves up. Berlin, no. Deals with the trespasser in through mid. That's, well, there is the follow-up. Ayang. Watching it for any sort of passerby. There's only three players now left standing for Carmen Court. Looks like a read to me that they were expecting Berlin to be playing B. You know, both of those controller players for FBX fighting over B. They baited out Lysor there, who swung off the back of a paranoia that was extremely optimistic. They are so damn aggressive, though. Willing to take the risks, aren't they? I mean, Heyang yeah. has just walked up all the way behind. And all of this in a player advantage situation where you don't need to force fights like this. It's a round winning or losing play, probably, that Heyang and Life have gone for. Carmen Core are well and truly trapped here. Though I don't believe they know it yet. No indicator. Here. Contacting together. Opened at the gunplay, can carry them through a round like this one. Behind them, no, not to the side, not expecting a player out towards Yelas Berlin. Still not cleaned up. Spike though, planted. Two players though for them. Flash over the top, Martin. How's he doing this? No man? way. No way to come and call find that. Quite a match very early on, but we'll see. Yeah, he gets an early the pick. pick. Wow, okay. Tom Z, Thrash. Used to see if they can clear and cleave their way in through B main. Yang, he's open to the window here. Look, timing could be brutal. Look, timing could be brutal. Spots the head, spots the head, Magnum. He's racing ahead, man. Doesn't want anything to do with this. Look at him. Ducking straight into the floor, maybe anticipating a re-peak, but no, he's backing it away. In the meantime... Yeah, speaking about re-peaks, Berlin in a player advantage situation again, FPX deciding to try to make the play to win the round. Unnecessary, for sure. And Berlin does get punished for it. That's on life of Shin, he's going to play for this one. Portion of the wall broken, but that's <laughs> all good. Yeah, thankfully. All good. Thankfully, Alton wasn't watching that again. That was only 45 seconds left. Walking their way over towards A. Starting to get a move on, though. What util do they have to try and clear close? They are, I think, quite scared of the prospect that life could be just in a one and done. Especially when he's playing Rainer. Does he see the head just on the belt there? Looks unlikely. Orb 
in his face. 30 seconds left. Players approaching rapidly on the position. It's a double face as the orb goes down. Only 20 seconds left here. No real utility as far as I can see for FPX to deny this one. Magnum is Magnum. really far behind and has missed the timing. Yeah, he has, but he's going to be making a call at least for his team here. Over to buy some time. Really wide face by Narate. Claiming it. He's feeling it, man. It's yeah. four around for him. And this time, Kamen Corda not messing around. Flip through their fingers. Here comes Aeon with the play again. He's got a flash out in his hand. Still gets one kill. Maybe setting up Autumn for a bit of success. But no, everybody cleaned up. Carmen Court. Live and kicking with three of their players. Just got to try and hunt out where is life. Oh, yeah. Heels up now, not letting anything slip. Thrash there, connects, detained. Humiliation time on the grand stage. As Kamen Core up to 12. It's gonna be their aim, tucked to the corner, that's life. Avoiding the initial flash cross from the ropes. Accurate enough to win that fight out, but dismiss in towards the back now. Underneath Raft, there's plenty more players ready to try and fight him. Target rich environment, take your pick, take your time, son. Cause this is you lighting the world on fire. Life with the ace! Geez, but here we look at this, I mean, they're just holding. Four, it's still life claims it. He's on fire. Barely a shred of Narade poking out. Still manages to catch the headshot. Magnum's one away from having a massive ultimate. And they're sneaking around oh, underneath them. Life goes for the re-clear. It's a dizzy, still, it's traded. Magnum is there. On for the two there. Hang Yang drops down, Dash is there. Martins finds it, forwards now. After the lockdown, it's 2v2. This could be it to seal the map. What is going to be the answer from FBX? Holding, walking out. Holding, walking out, hoping that they can punish, but no. Just granted the kill. And Berlin, the IGL, to 1v2. Cover going out. All on the line to keep his team in the map. Paranoia available. Smoke's still there, wants to walk though, doubled up, they're dominating the position if he chooses to just peek ever so slightly into it, there's going to be a shorty ready and waiting. One more smoke used. Tap, force them out into the open, no easy fights, no easy exits, that is Carmen Core, sealing it up, nice and pretty for map number one. As they hear now, the spike's going to be planted, nice shot onto the target, the fight into the back of the site, they're not clearing, the corner half clearance still, Autumn! Snaps it back around again. They want to really just take the fight in a battle straight to them. FPX are not messing around. Shin, so so much to do. Doubled up, stacked up. They give him a freebie. Three kills now. But a 1v2 and 17 health to do it. Almost impossible. He doesn't have very much information about where the others are positioned. And life. The sheriff just watching this smoke. Stand put it down. Ground. Yeah. Together, Shin is really in dire straits. He needs some help for the rest of his team. Dodging and juking side to side. How does he get the one kill eventually? Falling. Backing away here. Narate realizing he has to respect this one. Doesn't want to toss away his life. Wants to play for the full retake with the rest of his team now. Plan. Actually denied there. That's a perfect placement of the nade. Yeah. And wow. a kill. I mean, if anyone was going to go down, and I thought it would be Autumn on 30 health, but Lysol just tanks it. Maybe not hearing that in the moment. The rate, despite the fact that he's spamming down, trying to get a second. Finally, the Apple taking out all of it, leaves it to Berlin. He's just got so much to work it against him. Berlin, hello. Here's your time to shine, but Tomasic shuts that one down right quick, so. See if that bites them here. Here's the initiation, the moves in with the judge eventually shutting down that threat. Martin can't get anything done, but Carmen Core still there with the rifles. Off to the side, Autumn inside the smoke. And the rate. Last player left standing. That's 1v2, maybe even second guessing himself, wondering if he gets another one, could be played, but no. Now making the smarter decision here, so saving a rifle, running away with it. So FPX. Not quite clear, Thomas, yet. Yeah. It was broken. It gave the indicator. It gave the indicator for Autumn. Great movement to Wonderful. be able to escape. And really heads up as well. Knowing that the boom bot was cleared, he's expecting it. He's like, okay, potential there behind the box tucked. First kill for them. So 50 seconds now. Making the moves over towards the A site. Magnum is here, ready and waiting with the setup. That's the Nano Storm still. Paranoia. It was wide. He's holding an off angle. This is really quite aggressive. And Autumn just offsets the movement. 
ever so slightly enough flank around Shin. They weren't expecting that one with the TP, but he's only one man. What can he do? Paranoia glides TP in face. No way. No way. No way. Shin. That's monstrous. And life is nowhere near. Sticking this one through. Where's the defuse by not a clue? Still half on in life. Magnum. Taktir has the stinger. Too much util. Still finds the kill. <laughs> Taking the timing as well, knowing they were going to explode into the side, and he backs away. So, toss away his life for no reason. Plant. This is going to be difficult though for Kami Core because they're going to come back into this against potentially big ultimates if Autumn or Lysor are able to get a pick. There are huge ults on the other side. It might have been a good idea to try to stack one of them, the plant. Yeah, potentially, because Martin's now going to be coming back in. Nade rebounding, snake by ults, offloaded. Thomas E, what a shot, what a shot indeed! The players are toppling here, the rifles matter not. Coming core on display, showing exactly what makes them that number one seed from EME 8. Still, okay, Prowler, peak, Martin, what? A shot, the quick scope of life shuts that one down. Now the showstopper, all laid out on top of it. Magnum, he's out of there, vacates it, wants nothing to do with it. Looks like control going to be gained for them. Fight's being lost all over the place here with Thomas E losing that one. Paranoia swing through, a little bit delayed here, but FBX are the ones that are coming out on top. Kill feed, filling up with red, and that's all they're seeing right now. Hunted for the kills, Magnum. Lovely shot with the discipline, Shin. He's setting the aim just enough, 1v2. Does he still choose to make a go of this? He's worried about those aggressive timings that FPX like to take. Fear in his heart. Lockdown. Those forwards here with a thrash. They want to seek to try and fight this one. Really far back positions. Can they deal with it? Magnum! Nails it with the detainment. That's two players there. They can't actually enter the fight, but really, they've done the damage here with the bodies. Nothing to break this lockdown whatsoever. Life was being pressured onto that position. Once more detainments across the board. No eight sticking forwards here. Sees half on the board. Magnum really just seeking to delay. He's got his teammates back. Ayak forcing out the wingman. Horn drops down, rebounds half on it. Really needs to swing wide. Magnum needs to shut it down. Not even necessary. Ready to receive. Still it gives him the space. Horn. Really actually catching on to a few of these players. They're lucky to be alive. Back in away. Meanwhile, out through B. That's a trade from a hang and even more so. Oh, that's wild. He's ripped away Nere's head. And he's just swinging through an Anna Swarm there as well. He's opened the round up so wide for FBX. Look, he's trying to no get another way. and he does. Aang's been such a beast in this series so far. Hit drop down. Berlin's watching for it. You can hear it. The rumbling of the footsteps. That is 7 2 4. Board sound cues. Missing, taken away. Plant still online for it. No, he's just spotted. Everybody watching towards the wall, but that is a nasty shot by Thomasy. And through Main. Could have blocked that angle up. Actually, might just be through the smoke here. Oh, sound cues. Life is really just going to rely on his aim. Smoke. Finally blooms and blossoms to cut off these available players, but guess what? That flank of Lysor is coming in right from the side. Thomas E sticking half already, has to get off of it, has to get the kills, but not expecting it. The full wrap around and an 8-4 to four finish. The wall out towards C, trying to double face this one, but they've gotten deep into heaven. Carmen Core versus the second protocol, just leaping. Wow. Boundless man. Jumping straight into the face of Ayang, and he can't withstand that kind of pressure. Interlink now, Paranoia. Sent flying, corners cleared, making sure they're there with the diligence. Nade rebounding, but Magnum holding down the ground. Forwards It's the approach, but again, there's just nothing to deal with this guy. He's just rattling off shots. Left, right, and center straight from main. Finally smoked off, Berlin defusing. Half, Half. sticking, hello, gets off of it, but now damage is done. Snake bite tap, they've got to realize this now, surely with the time cues, but they all collapse in time. He's going to get pushed out oh, into the open. He's going to get pushed out into the open. I mean, the Berlin oh moments. Oh my. <laughs> Berlin, what are you doing? They are wild. Oh no, I can feel it, the danger zone. And it's there. FPX now forced to try and do a lot more. Ayang out wide into the open. Lysor, he's found his straggler up onto the opposite side of the map. But really, the damage is done. Life has to make a go of it. Wall fades. No one accounting for it. Spike dropped down. He's brought this into a two versus two. Definite chances here for him. Serious opportunity for FPX to be able to recover this. 
Oh, that's a ton of damage onto life, though. The Odin spam perfect, but he might have distracted for Lysor to find a timing. Look what happened to backside. Shin is just on top of the ropes, man. That's a bonkers play to go for. This post plant now gets so much more difficult. Lysor. How do you cut up these angles? How do you find the right fights? How do you isolate them? He's not even clearing Shin. Tucked up there, and there was a player ready to swing. Time now becoming an issue. Here comes the approach. Satchel's in, Dizzy's there, but Wingman follows it up. Stunned up. Well, Cosmetic in nature. FBX still. All here now. Shin, last one left. Half of the fuse. Oh, they're watching for it. They knew he was there. Barely, barely enough with the time. Might be the answer here for Ayang. Berlin can't work his way through that one way. A lot of util being used to try pushing them back, but look at how difficult this is. I mean, you're just clearing one section of the ult attained. Did catch, I believe, the one. Clearing through, need the guns, at least for the fight. It's Magnum. Just dominating that one angle. Looks to really just step towards them now when he spots the final few players, and Berlin's out of there. He almost with them opening the door up, but high low. Set everybody out towards seeing the players. They're running away, but they hear it jumping around. Autumn, awesome. he's popped off the old high low setup. Not expecting it. The rate's already there. Dizzy avoided, but no, just catching on to him. 15 seconds left. Has to deal with this player. He's got the spike in his hands. No teammates. Nowhere near at all. He's got to try and force this fight out. The rate wins it. There's Eight no seconds. Way. He's got to get this plant down. And it's being covered. Surely no spam. He does an extension into the round. Monstrous from the rate. He's 22 and 11 in the map so far, and trying to win this round almost on his own, waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Horn spotting it, avoiding it. But the bullet's hailing down onto it, but his head just peeking out and over. No oh! rage can't be stopped, man! All right, so they were aggressive on C. Let's try and push it into A fast. What is that? Spam through, catch onto Berlin. Didn't stand a chance there. They catch the C push yet. Yeah, Magnum is watching for it, knowing that. Another duel, though, where Lysor could have found the timing. And instead, the Kamen Core player comes out on top, readjusting the aim. It's fallen to pieces. Ayang makes a good go of it there. Looks away two of them, but not enough to withstand the pressure for all the players there. Now, a deep push from life. He's the last one left. Hold up, rotations, players, oh, it's a timing game, it's a timing game! Ah, Shin's seen the barrel, he's seen the barrel, and he takes care of him, 12 rounds. Oh. Prowler connecting, Magnum holding, watching, what is that by Autumn? Those are amazing. Hell of a time to come alive, this team definitely needed it, and the kills are just being collapsed upon. Shin, he's got his ult, picks up the spike, repositions now, but guess what, Berlin might be one step ahead. He's running his way back over towards A, anticipating this kind of reaction. A plant, though, won't be pushed back. So Shin has a chance to close the case entirely. 1v2, Aang has the ult, a lot of util. Shin reveals his position, Thrash. No bunny hops online, wide swing and face there. Paranoia repositions out wide to the side. Shot connects, snaps to it, Shin will not find it. FBX at his feet, but now there's a snake bite to try and respond, and a flood defense by FBX is caught, Dizzy missing wide, facing Lysor. He's got his two there, the rate is eager to take the challenge straight to him, he's eager to put an end to the entirety of this series, but a spike has been dropped into the middle of nowhere. That's the big problem now, extraction is the name of the game. KC, Magnum's trying to cause some chaos, see if he can pull people away from the seaside, threaten some kind of wild lurk, but... Would they really push through Waterfall here to retrieve the spike? Or is it all a fake? Subterfuge being thrown into the mix. There's a haunt to clear the way, but Berlin is back up onto the space, into the angle, an essential kill, but it goes missing. And now Waterfall control is there, it's Autumn. He's there with a crosshair placement. And White now have to deal with these players. Carmen Core! It's all down to 1v1. And this is it. Again, continuation of the series, or will it be that slam at Dunk Thomas E? Wraps it around, 20 seconds left, Spike still not retrieved! Thomasy! He finishes the job on their feet before you know it!